What's up, guys? BBC JP here. That's uh, Pacific Coast Highway. Pacific Ocean right there. Um, so, I wanted to talk to you guys about Genius Brands and some of the hit pieces that, that um, have been put out there on them. Um, I'll make this video short because it's a short video. So a lot of a lot of these uh, columnists for for these uh, um, publications, websites, whatever. These guys clearly they didn't do their due diligence. They don't know what's going on with the company. Um, they don't know anything. They're just saying random stuff. Some, some of them are saying they wanted to go bankrupt. Um, some of them are saying that the evaluation is too high, that it's not worth half a million dollars, um, that they're burning through cash, all sorts of stuff. These are the same people that, uh, that have personally um, been wrong on, on even my, my old stocks like Plug back in June of... Uh, um, 2020, June 2020, I think it was, uh, the 8th or the 9th, one of these, we'll call them fools, <laughs> um, one of these fools wrote a, um, a hit piece on plug, on plug power, and, uh, um, it was $3 at that time, and I remember I, I bought it, in, like, immediately after that, and it was around $5 when I bought it. Well, I mean, if you look now, you can see how much uh, Plug Power is worth. Um, ticker is PLUG. It's worth like $65. These guys are clowns, I swear. They don't know what they're talking about. Anyway, let's get back to Genius. So, they said Genius uh, isn't worth $500 million. Okay. Well, let's let's be, let's go from the beginning. They said that it was a bad idea. Uh, it was a bad it was a uh, bad marketing. I saw this yesterday on Weeble, on uh, you know how they have their little news section. Uh, they, that they have a bad marketing team because uh, they have um, as intellectual property Sonic the Hedgehog and Pac Man. All right, think about that. So they think it's a bad idea to have he Sonic the Hedgehog and Pac Man in their portfolio. Uh, that's the most nonsensical thing in the world, which they said the the the, the five, that being worth five hundred million dollars, the two dollars that they're worth right now, or one ninety eight right now, um, that's nonsensical. Okay, anyways, so what will make sense for, of all of this for them? They said, uh, okay, well, if, if I wear a Sonic the Hedgehog T-shirt in Japan, and it, or in India, or in uh, China, Ukraine, or wherever, they're going to know exactly what I'm wearing. There's anywhere, in a village, in a farm, they'll know what Sonic the Hedgehog or Pac-Man is. It's like, um, these are like cultural staples in human society now. They're so big. It's like wearing a Mario shirt. Like, I don't even have to say anything else but Mario. And you know what I'm talking about. You don't think I'm talking about some, some dude's a trucking company or something. You, you obviously know I'm talking about Mario Brothers from Nintendo. Okay, when I say Sonic, what do you think I'm talking about? Sonic Burgers? No, you, you, you clearly know I'm talking about this blue rat-like thing, you know? It's, that's a hedgehog. Okay. Same thing with Pac-Man. You know but that it's a yellow ball that's eating people around. So, okay. So, what I'm getting at is that having these things in your portfolio is always going to be a positive no matter what so the, this guy clearly doesn't know what he's talking about okay now let's go to uh oh and he said that's bad marketing okay so they just acquired chiscom which is uh the one of the best marketing firms there is so or if not the best marketing firm that there is okay so let's go to the valuation of 500 million dollars these guys don't think it's worth 500 million dollars well that's nonsensical to me because they're saying it's nonsensical. It's worth five hundred million. I'm saying it's nonsensical. It's not worth more. All right, let's just break it down. Uh, Genius has 
a hundred million, a hundred and fifty million dollars in cash. Okay, so the, it's a company that has in cash a hundred and fifty million bucks in their bank account. Okay, so it's at least worth one hundred and fifty million dollars right now. Okay, now let's keep going. They have, um, they just acquired Chiscom, which we don't know how much they acquired it for, but we do know that it makes a hundred million dollars in revenue. Okay, well, if you look at it like that, now they're worth, what, $250 million, $300 million? Okay, now let's look at all their intellectual property, their, their non-tangibles. Oh, by the way, they only, they only pay in, uh, in, um, in running their company, the entire company, they only pay it in operational costs, $30 million a year. Okay. But they're already making over a hundred million, no matter like because they acquired Chiscom. Okay, so there's their marketing. Um, their, their okay, their intellectual property. Their intellectual property is worth. That's the intangible. You don't know how much that's worth. But it's it's okay. So now we're worth uh, about three hundred million bucks, right? Hundred million we have in cash. Um, about hundred million we have in revenue. That's two fifty. Okay, so they say I have Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, that's one. I don't know how much you can put, how much value you can put on that. Let's see. I don't know. Let's find out. E even on a nostalgic note, you would make that's worth at least a hundred million. I don't know. Like I have no idea. Okay, Pac Man. Okay, that's another one. Um, and then they have all these intellectual properties from Stan Lee and Stan Lee's universe. Okay, so you got all that. You also got the Cartoon uh, Channel app, which is also worth something right okay so um let's just say that with the ips that they currently have right now they're worth about 500 million let's just say that let's just give the guy the benefit of the doubt they got the cash they got the intellectual prop sorry for the nose noise there's just a lot of cars out here on the saturday uh mornings so uh they got the cash they got the intellectual property um, and they got, uh, the revenue. Um, okay. So let's say they're worth about 500 million bucks right now. Let's give the guy the benefit of the doubt. Even though he says this, this is, un this is un, uh, nonsensical. This, this is nonsensical that it's worth 500 million. I just told you why it's worth 500 million. They got the cash. They got the revenue. They got, uh, a company that's, that. so they, if they liquidated today, they would have more money than $500 million, just selling all their IPs individually, um, selling Chizcom, uh, selling themselves, um, and, and also um, uh, selling their intellectual property. So selling, selling everything, they would have at least more than $500 million at this very moment. Okay, so first of all, uh, Super uh, Hero Kindergarten hasn't came out yet. It, it, comes, out on, uh, it comes out in May. Um, and it also is going to be on Prime TV, on uh, Amazon Prime, I should say. Okay, well, that's not guaranteed to be a hit, but it looks like it's going to be a hit. But, okay, let's just say that it is a hit. Now you're over the line. Now you're over $500 million no matter what. Okay, so there, there's one. They also have uh, Shaq, Shaq Diesel's coming out, you know, Shaq's Garage. You know, anybody who knows anything about sports knows the Shaq, a.k.a. Uh, Big Diesel. You know what I mean? That's what they call him. Uh, that he has his own uh, TV show coming out, uh, his own cartoon show with them. So, I mean, that might be a hit too. And, okay, so, so you take those into account, those in consideration. You can also take into account Chizcom. They just posted a picture of Harry Potter on their Instagram that uh, that someone commented, yo, is this a film? And they liked it. Of course, they, 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 some people were like, oh, that, that might not even be uh, Harry Potter. Of course, it's, it's Harry Potter. It says wizardly uh, on the corner in the bottom right side, side corner of the picture. It says uh, wizardly uh, whatever. Like if you type in Harry Potter, it's, it's the name of their of their production company, Wizardly Wizards or something, Wizardly Films, um, and then it says WB, which is Warner Brothers. So and it's the whole Harry Potter thing, like it's it's like the font, the whole deal. So it's a hundred percent Harry Potter. So think about this. I don't know if this is breaking news to you guys, but their Chizcom is a hundred percent doing something with 
Harry Potter, 100%. It could be a film. It could be a video game. It could be, uh, I don't know. It could be anything, literally. But they didn't put it on the Genius Brands Instagram. They put it on the Chizcoms. I don't know. So maybe it could be uh, marketing. It could be advertising for the film. Either way, it's revenue to the bottom line of Genius Brands. Because they they would they could never put a picture of Harry Potter on their Instagram if they didn't already sign a deal and partner up. Think about that. Okay, so they a hundred percent got a deal with with uh, for something. I don't know what it is. Who does? No, I mean, there's a lot of things that we don't know yet. That so think about that. They're working with Harry Potter. They are, they have a they have. Um, Okay, so let's go into like the Shaq Diesel, uh, big Shaq O'Neal, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. All right, so, and see how this all can work out together. Okay, so let's say another company, um, like let's say Netflix or Disney or whatever, they want to do a, uh, another TV show with their voices. These guys are, uh, are shareholders of genius brands. What are they going to do? They're probably going to say, okay, cool, yeah, I'll work with you guys, um, let's do a cartoon, but uh, you guys have to uh, let um, my marketing company take care of the marketing side of this, you know? I mean, and what, what is Chizcom? Chizcom is the biggest marketing um, company for, for children's and children's toys. Okay, so, I mean, not only that, but Arnold Schwarzenegger is the ex-governor of California, so, I mean, that guy can make a call to the board of directors of, I don't know, uh, of public education for the state of California. I don't, I'm sure he's got a few buddies in, in government still, right? So, I mean, he was just in office a, a few years ago. So, he, he probably still has some connections in government. He could just say, hey, buddy, um, check this out. I got this uh, um, cartoon classroom and, you know, it'd be a good idea to show it on, all, you know, uh, all over California to all little kids. Oh, yeah, sounds like a good idea, buddy. All right, cool, man. Let's continue golfing. Like, I mean, like these connect or, and Shaq can do the same thing with just his his buddies that he's he's friends with every athlete. You can bring in. I don't know. You could make a he can make a, uh, a TV show with uh, with LeBron James. Like, like, who knows? Like, who, like, like, these things are just infinite. These are infinite possibilities. We have so many celebrities. Like, we have so many celebrities attached to the brand that that these guys are invested in its success. Like, literally invested. They, they have their, their, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger was paid in shares. Like, he was in his movies, you know? Like, in, some, in his movies, he made most of his money on the back end. He got a few million in the front end, but he made mo- most of his money from uh, from ticket sales. He was like, okay, I get 50% of whatever Terminator makes. Isn't that the smartest move? Because he knew Terminator was going was gonna to be a huge success and hit. So he's like, I'm not going to just make $20 million. I'm going to make $200 million. And that's what he did. So that's why when he did this this deal with with um, Genius Brands, he didn't, he didn't take any cash. He was like, all right, cool. I'm just going to take shares. Why? Why would he do that? Because he's invested in it. He's invested in its success. So these little hit pieces that these these fools, I'm going to say fools again because it, I don't know why. I mean, maybe, I don't know. You guys can figure that one out. But um, these fools, these they, they say that it's not worth $500 million. I Now I just told you why it's worth more than $500 million. Um, and... Not, like any one of these can be a hit. You're talking about uh, Arnold's show. You're talking about Shaq's show. You're talking about the hundreds of shows that can come out with the Stan Lee's IPs, intellectual properties as cartoons, uh, Warren Buffett's. We just don't know yet because they haven't been in market for that long yet. So once, or some of them haven't even come out into market. Like Arnold's hasn't come out, um, Shaq's hasn't come out, and we don't even know what they're cooking up yet in in the back in the lab we don't know what they're cooking up like we don't know what's up we don't know what's up like i just told you this thing about harry potter people are still speculating on it but you can't speculate on it man because it's a picture on their instagram page on chiscom's instagram page so they're 100 percent doing something with with harry potter so there's no speculation there that's 100 percent done deal what are they doing we don't know that's the thing so what are they cooking up they're cooking up something they're making money 
Um, all right, so yeah, so any of these, uh, the, any of these Stan Lee characters can be a, a success too, a hit. And maybe it could be a movie. Maybe it could be whatever. You know, maybe maybe they're making maybe they're making a Harry Potter cartoon. Who knows what's going on? To be honest with you, so it's already worth five hundred million, and if any one of these things happen, it's going to be wor- be worth more. Okay, I saw another YouTube guy uh, say that um, that it's it could be possible that. Uh, that they could be teaming up with Elon Musk because they have a, a car in Shaq's garage named Tess that was short for Tesla. And they showed um, the CEO, um, Andy Hayward's uh, screenshot of him talking to uh, to some guy, I guess, um, or maybe someone, um, someone in this team about something about Shaq. I mean, Shaq's garage and Tess, which is uh, short for Tesla, which is a girl car in Shaq's garage. Okay. So, I mean, that's not far-fetched to me because Elon Musk is already, he's a multi-billionaire. He doesn't care too much about money. And he does have small children. This guy has like tiny little children, you know? So why wouldn't he make an, a TV show like Warren Buffett um, for, for children? I mean, why not? Why not teach them about clean energy? Why not teach them about uh, renewable, um, re- renewable energy and space and whatnot? You know, so why not? He's got he's got children. Why not be a stakeholder in a company that teaches children? Isn't isn't that like one of the biggest things in the world? Like as your kid's growing up to be a, be a, a shareholder in 100% of what he's watching. So you're like, you know what? I don't think that that's appropriate, guys. Let's cut that one out. Well, I mean, if that's pretty good for Elon Musk, right? Like if he's got everything else in the world, might as well just have that too, you know? Okay. So that's why I think Elon Musk would actually do this because he's got children. I mean, if I was Elon Musk, I would. Why not? I mean... He's got time to go on Joe Rogan's podcast, you know, and smoke a few blunts. I mean, he must have time to, you know, wrap up a kid's TV show in a, in a weekend. So, I mean, it's not it's not out of this world, you know. And he's a cool dude. Everybody likes him. Okay, so I've already explained to you guys why this is worth over $500 million. Um, so, I mean, easily worth over... I, I To be honest, I think it's a... If, if one of these hits... It's probably a ten billion dollar company. Um, think about it like that. Compare it to um, Margaret Loesch's um, company that she sold to uh, Fox. Um, the cartoon thing for, that she sold to Fox. I think she sold it for five point five billion dollars in the nineties. Okay, if this is like, if you can compare this on the same level to what she did back then, then then it's. I mean. I mean, with uh, with inflation and um, everything else, the uh, everything else, uh, inflation, the cost of a living, whatever. Um, I mean, five point five is probably like ten billion. Okay, so it's probably worth about ten billion bucks in twenty twenty one. It's twenty twenty one in twenty twenty one. So, um, yeah, if we get a couple hits out of here, we already have one llama llama, which is. It's in its uh, third season now. It's in its third season on Netflix. So, I don't know. That's that's literally what I think. Um, these guys are... I say these guys are fools because these guys, um, they, uh, they just talk and they don't do their due diligence. They really don't. They just say, they just say oh, these guys are burning cash. How are you burning cash? They're acquiring valuable assets they're acquiring uh stan stan lee's universe you know like they're they're acquiring their ips they're 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 getting arnold they're getting uh and they're not burning cash they're they what they did was they they added more shares yeah it may may have diluted the shares a little bit but instead we get more partners that are invested in this company succeeding so they're and that's the opposite of diluting cash because you're you're gaining something instead of losing something you know it's like you're paying for someone to be out there on your behalf 
to you know to market the company uh and not only that he's not burning the cash the 150 million dollars are still in the bank <laughs> so he's rather give up some shares have people invested in the company that he, know, that he knows that can help us and he and he's keeping the 150 million of the cash cash so so when these guys say it's not worth 500 million dollars they don't know what they're talking about they've been wrong before to be like what i think is is that to be a columnist for one of these um uh for one of these publications these fools should have made at least a million dollars in in trading stocks none of this mutual fund roth ira things throughout time because they could have inherited i i don't know uh, a quarter million bucks and by now it's probably worth a million okay no i'm talking about trading picking and trading stocks if they made um, over a million dollars i'll take your comments into consideration but i guarantee their their portfolio of just of shares i'm talking about just of shares being traded it should be attached to their articles i want to know how much money these clowns are making like in shares because if they're not making any money in shares they have not they have nothing to say to me they have nothing to say to me man they have to they should have made a a million dollars at in trading stocks and picking and trading stocks and then they can say something to me you know what i'm saying other than that they have nothing to say they have nothing to add of value they were wrong about plug am i just like some crazy genius no i'm not i just went online and i did some little research and i'm like yeah this company is going to take off soon and boom it's 65 bucks right now 64 dollars right now this guy was talking nonsense man he was going on and on about how it was impossible the valuation was too high like what man okay so clearly that's just one example i mean there's plenty of them i I'm, i can't even get into it but what i'm saying is that these guys if they want to uh, uh you know write opinion pieces or hit jobs as i call them about shares and stocks and all this stuff they need to have a resume you know not just a sixty thousand dollar a year or a hundred thousand dollar a year job that uh that their billionaire bosses Hey, little Corey, go ahead and write this hit piece on this stock uh, genius. And they're like, okay, if I have to, that's what I'll do it. Do, 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 do. They start typing away. They are burning through cash. They aren't worth anything. Oh, man. Yeah. Ooh. Their stock fell from $8. It's like, bro, do you, do you know why that happened? Do you know any of this stuff? Did you do any reading besides just read another article that said the same thing? Like, I, like, I, like in these last five years, I have learned to not trust the media about anything at all. You, we just saw what happened with, uh, with um, GameStop. They, like, switched the whole thing around. They made it look like like uh wall street bets was like the bad guys like come on man like these guys are just like in the back pockets of hedge funds and this is ridiculous guys so um i'm gonna end it right here man smash that like button smash that sub subscribe button is gonna help me out a lot um and uh i'm not an advisor don't, don't take don't take any financial advice from some dude wearing a bulls jersey out in the pacific coast highway right here let me show you that beautiful view, you know? I mean, if you made it this far, you deserve to look at that right there. Woo! Let's zoom in if we can. Oh, no, we can't. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, I'm not a financial advisor. Don't take financial advice from me, but, I mean, if these guys are going to write some, some hit pieces like that, they should attach their, their, their stock trades on there and their wins and stuff because... I can't believe these guys. They, they rotate these guys. They, they just go from one place to... They go from one, one uh, news uh, thing to an another magazine. Like, it's just... It's, it's nonsense, guys. Um, yeah, smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Um, I'll be hitting you guys up with new content, new stuff. Um, by the way, um, 
yeah, that uh, they they're doing something with um, with Harry Potter, hundred percent. Okay, check out Chizcom on um, Instagram, and you'll and you'll notice that it says Wizardly uh, whatever on and the WB sign on the bottom right hand corner. That's a hundred percent Harry Potter. So they are a hundred percent doing a Harry Potter um, thing. So they're doing something with Harry Potter. Um, I'm not a financial advisor. Don't take my financial advice. Uh, make up your own uh, mind. Do your own due diligence. Don't don't let these news outlets tell you how to think. To be honest, man. Um, you know, do your own due diligence. These guys. I mean, I mean, AMC, GameStop, like. Uh, everything that's been going on these last five years. Are you gonna? Be- are you really gonna believe anything these guys say? Okay. All right, guys. Have a good one. Um, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later, man. Bye.